Hey guys. Hey guys. Okay, listen. I, I, I left my batteries. I left my batteries, so we need to talk. Transfer Tuesdays. Transfer Tuesdays. Transfer Tuesdays. Trying to get trying to get y'all right. We ain't got time to be getting y'all right for real though. Okay. Transfer Tuesdays. Let's talk about it, y'all. <laughs> Transfer Tuesdays is that Tuesday in the week. For me, once a month, where we go ahead and we move money around to further advance our financial goals, okay? This is such a great accountability tool for me because for the longest, I have been doing my budget, saying where the money was going to go, but then never actually making the time to actually transfer the money to the accounts, okay? So it will lead to having a buildup in one account, and then by the time I got around to moving the money, I couldn't even remember, like, did I move this money already? Did I not move this money already? Is there too much money in this account? What's happening? What's going on? So this is the solution to all of that, guys. So this is what we did. Tuesday, Tuesday. Today is Tuesday. We did $500 to our IRA. Then $3,300 went to our mortgage freedom account, which I hold in a high yield savings account at Marcus. Um, the Marcus Goldman Sachs high yield savings account. Um, a lot of y'all already know the story. I am working to pay off my home, but right now I'm playing another game where I'm not actually putting the money on the house just yet. I'm actually holding it in a high yield savings account, which I get 5.5 interest on currently. And I'm letting the money build there. And then when I feel froggy, I'm going to leap and move the money all the way to my mortgage. Hopefully what I would like to do is just build up the money so that one day all of the money is in that account where I can say today I can pay off my mortgage if I want and make one lump sum. That's the dream. That's the vision right now. Okay. So 3,300 there. Then an additional 500 was moved to extra for mortgage. That's the money that I will physically put on the mortgage, uh, extra 500. Okay. And then $600 was moved to my opportunity saving fund, which is a savings account my savings account. Okay. And that gives us a total of $4,900. In addition to that, we had already did $1,785 to our 401k. And then we also did $258 to our health savings account. This brings a grand total of the money that we moved to $6,943. Okay. Um, also, I wanted to show how our interest was paid on our Marcus High Yield Savings account, okay? So I want to show that. So for the one account, which is the Mortgage Freedom Fund, we earned $140.36, yay, all in one month of interest. And then in our normal Opportunity Savings Fund, we earned an additional $542.19 in interest. Y'all, I tell y'all over and over and over again, this is one of the things that I could have kicked myself for not doing sooner. So do not be like me. If you take anything away from these videos, take that away. Do not be like me. Be better than me. Open your high yield savings account now. Guys, all you got to do is do a Google search. Best high yield savings accounts. See what it comes back with. You want to go for something that has little to no fees, actually no fees. You want to go with something that is super flexible. You want to go with something that gives you a high interest rate. Right now with Goldman Sachs Marcus, because with your high yield savings account, guys, the interest rate can fluctuate month to month to month. It has been pretty much the same for the past four or five months or so. Okay. But right now the interest rate is 4.5%. If you have an referral code, you get an additional percentage, an additional percentage. And so that will bring you to 5.5%, okay? If you want one, email me and I will send you a referral code. It's not my referral code. Um, at some point, it's going to be mine again because... Thank you. Thank you. I have mentioned it in a video before that I need to look up again when you can actually start referring out again. And somebody actually sent me the, the answer in my email. So thank you so much for that. Um, so basically, they let you do five a year. So it's coming up soon that I can start doing another five. But as for now, we are using referral codes of you guys who send me your referral codes. I'm sharing them out with the family. And that is what's happening. So email me if you want a referral code and you can get your additional percent in your interest rate. Okay. Um, also, the other thing I wanted to look at 
but we're not diving deep into this because I wanted to start looking at like what are my accounts making when we do this now listen I pulled up one of my investment accounts this isn't all of them this is one of the investment accounts and it shows that in one day it made eleven dollars <laughs> but it also shows that actually I'm not sure I don't think this is accurate it says in the past 366 days it was um, 423,000 a little bit over that that's not accurate that's not accurate the reason why I know that's not accurate is because what I did is I linked some of my other accounts to it and it's showing that it's showing the link to those accounts yeah so actually this is not going to do us any good but you can take a look at it anyway. We're gonna, I'm going to go ahead and include the screenshot. But it will also show the performances. So it says like my portfolio, we're at 6.67%. So it says like U.S. stock is up 10.69%. But U.S. Bond, bonds is down negative 0.26%. Foreign bonds, negative 0.2% negative 2.92% and so on and so forth. But yeah, we're not going to go into a deep dive of that just yet, but we will start going into better deep dives into that stuff in future videos. So I just kind of want to show you this and also show you like, basically when you look at your high yield savings account, which is getting 5.5, you're not losing anything day to day to day to day to day. You're gaining, but on average, the market will outperform that on average. Now think about it. We do have some years where we have down markets. We do have some months where we have down markets so much so that in a recession, it can take your mark, the market years to recover. So you really have to look at where you are on your journey. Do you have time in your work? lifespan the span of time that you're going to still be working a job so you have time to recover from a bad market or are you edging up on retirement where you really don't have that time so you may want to be a little more conservative to me a high yield savings account is super conservative super 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 conservative but there's also some other conservative avenues like cds you know some bonds things like that um so you just have to really look at that thing so yeah so this is what this is right now but like i said don't let that 366 mislead you that's not the truth in order for me to get the truth i will have to drill down into this a little more which i didn't take time to do just yet to really show you like break out my accounts and say okay this investment account this is where it stands that investment account this is where it stands this is giving us an overall picture of when I had added some investment accounts so that I can look at everything in well one fell swoop. And that's why it's looking at it's 423 because it's some other accounts that I had added to this. But it ain't true, y'all. It is not true. But like I said, that second part, the performance part, is a little more accurate. Okay? Um, so that's what it is. That's Transfer Tuesdays, y'all. Talk to me about the money that you moved this Tuesday. Peace.